What's up guys, TechLabs here, and I know how hard it is to have a 60 gigabyte version of the iPhone. It's so hard to have all of these photographs, all of the games, all the social media installed on the same iPhone to actually have enough storage for all of these. So today guys, in this video, I wanted to show you a very powerful tool so you can clean up your device without any computer and jailbreak and have a lot of room to work with. So guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And alright guys, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and go to this website. It's called apps4theiphone.net and as always guys, links be down below so don't worry about that. Next you need to click on this menu, now select apps, go to jailbreak apps and including Pokemon Go and all that stuff. And now go to the middle of this page until you see X Cleaner. So go ahead and click on X Cleaner and that should lead you to this page. And now after 5 seconds you can click on skip this ad and if there is any uh, another page opening up uh, in your Safari, go ahead and close this one out and click on skip this ad once again. And now click install. If it says open in the app store, open in the app store and then click install. And now the X Cleaner should be installing. And boom, the X Cleaner is finally installed on an iPhone and now if we go ahead and open this one up. This should give us some, something like a trusted app developer, but that's fine. Now I have the iOS 8, so it's kind of different on the new firmware, so let me go ahead and click trust. But if you have an iOS 9 or iOS 10 or Laser, uh, it's gonna be a bit different, so all you gotta do is just again click on this one. It should give you an untrusted in-press developer warning. Go ahead and go to your settings. Uh, then general, scroll down till you see profiles and device management, click on this one, select the certificate on the inner place app, and now go ahead and click trust, click trust once again, and now that app should be signed. And now guys, before we launch iCleaner, let's go ahead and see how much storage do we have uh, on our iPhone. So in the iPhone we have 7.8 gigabytes. So now we can go ahead and launch iCleaner, just like this. Uh, the second, select the second tab because this is for RAM. Uh, select this one, now select the zero fill one pass. And guys, this will not delete any of your files uh, except for maybe some cached music in third party applications. So if you don't want to get those music deleted, just unselect the remove temporary files. But if you do, select this one. And now we can go ahead and click start, click OK. And now we should wait until this should finish the cleanup. And it's almost finished, so now it says something like storage almost full, but it's fine. This is just the way it cleans up your device. Click on done, and now wait a moment, just in a few seconds it should complete the cleanup. So yeah, it has been completed, now we can go back to settings, and we'll see 7.9 gigabytes. Oh, 100 megabytes. But anyways, this is the iPhone which I don't normally use, this is just for the channel, I'd say. But uh, if you have a lot of cache files, like for Instagram, I used, actually used to have 1 gigabyte, for the Instagram, half of the gigabyte for the Facebook and half of the gigabyte for the Messenger. So if you do have those exact numbers, you will get everything cleaned up and you will have plus two gigabytes free. Well, yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. If I helped you a lot, please share this tutorial. Please give me a huge thumbs up. That would be so, so much appreciated guys. And as always, stay awesome and peace out.